What's happening guys, I'm Razmataz and welcome to episode 2 of my FM23 beta mini-series Bringing It Home, where we've taken over as the England manager for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. In today's episode we've got two games to play, where we play France at their place and then we've got our first official group stage game against Iran. All right, and here we go, back in with the England squad and raring to go for our games today. First game is obviously against France, where we're playing away from home at the Stade de France. And the last time we played against France away from home, we didn't do very well, to be honest. We actually lost that game 1-0. Now, I'm hoping not to have a repeat of that today. Um, I think that we've got it in us to get the win, but it is going to be a tough game. So we're changing up the tactic a little bit that we're going to be playing. Now, last time that we were playing, we played against Denmark. We got ourselves a 2-1 win away from home, which was a really good result considering the form that England have been in leading up to that. Fort Morale might have been a bit of an issue, but they've obviously had some good club games in there somewhere and they were all in a good mood when they came back. Um, we went in and we didn't exactly dominate, to be honest, but we played pretty well. Obviously, as you can see, the stats were definitely in Denmark's favour um, and we definitely had to sort of pull our socks up and grind out the victory, but we definitely took the best or made the most of our chances in comparison to them. Um, Ramsdale did really well at the uh, in goal there. He had a great game at a 7.2. Declan Rice and Bellingham just controlling the midfield on a 7.2 and a 7.5 respectively. Um, Mount was just feeding balls left, right and centre through to Kane, which was awesome. And then Kane on a 7. Um, really, really good game from him as well. One concern, to be honest, with the game that we had was obviously I'm trying to reach James out as centre-back. Last time out on a 6.4, he didn't have the best of games, to be honest. But we're going to try him there again today and we'll see how he goes. If for some reason he just doesn't doesn't seem to be able to pick it up at centre-back there and he can't really work it, we'll move him across to the right-hand side and then probably bring on Dyer or, or Tamori in his place, um, which will obviously mean Walker sacrificing his place at right-back, which probably not the fairest of things. So we'll, we'll see how we end up moving it. But 6.7 from Walker, he did have a good game himself. Both of the full-backs actually, uh, Chilwell and Walker had a great game and Saka played really well on that right wing as well. Stones played played decent as well. You know, we had a we had a good game all round. It only real concern, to be honest, is Foden didn't really do much. Um and James didn't have the best of games. But hopefully both of them can get involved today and we'll have a good one. Now, having a look at the tactics and how we're going to line up for today. The exact same team as what we played last time, so not making any changes there in terms of personnel. Only difference is slightly different formation we're going to play. Instead of playing Cam uh, sorry, Mount up at Cam. In the the Gagan press tactic, we're actually going to be dropping it back, uh, putting Rice in at DM and dropping Mount to that central midfielder attacking role. 4 3 3, DM wide, fluid counter attack. We're going to try and soak up all the pressure here at the back and then hopefully Mount, Foden, and Saka surging forward and catch France on the break. Hopefully, we can get Harry Kane a couple of goals as well, which will be nice. One worry for me going into the World Cup group stage games is obviously. All of these guys are on one yellow card away from a suspension. I'm not sure if that will carry on into the group stage or into the World Cup if they get carded here. Um, but I imagine it just means that they'll be banned for one game for their next international, which isn't ideal. Um, you know, some of these guys will, will have replacements for, but if they all get another card, then, you know, we might be in trouble. So let's get stuck into the game and hopefully get a good old win under our belt. Official team sheets. So, obviously, our squad is our squad. We've already had a look at them. <sighs> Strong France squad. Marganan in goal. Pavard, Varane, Kimpembe, Kunde, Kante, Tushimani, Theo Hernandez, Fakir, Benzema and Griezmann. Um, and they've got some big names on the bench there as well. France are a seriously, seriously stacked side. Um, yeah, we're... <laughs> We're going to have a tough game on our hands here, but hopefully, hopefully, we're going to be good. Let's get into the dressing room and tell the lads what we want to do. We've got nothing to lose here. I don't know, I don't know if that's the case. Look, I just do. Yeah, I suppose we do owe France. Yeah, let's let's point the finger and say, look, we owe France. Let's go out there and get some revenge. Nice reaction from all the lads as well, apart from Saka, Reese James and Carl Walker. Oh, and Mason Mount. Perhaps they didn't play last time. All right, here we go.
lovely job. We start with the ball, which is always nice, playing in a lovely red kit. Obviously, being a Man United fan, love a red kit. Oh, what's going on here already? Saka might have suffered a tight groin. God, don't you be injured. Sort of thing that he should be able to play through, which is good. So let's just hold out and see how we go. Matt with the ball in. Oh, Saka was almost there early doors. Ball played out, but Walker's just picked it up there at the back. Who's already on a yellow card. Six minutes in, Walker's on a yellow card. And I'm pretty sure Walker was one of the ones on a yellow card already. I might be wrong there. Kane, oh, no luck there from Kane. Really thought he was going to be able to nod that one in. Um, was Walker already on a yellow card from last time? Is this meaning that he's going to miss the game next time? If he does, that probably forces our hand into playing Reese James on the right-hand side. Mounts through. Not much come off. It was blocked by Varane, though. The old Rolls-Royce. Straight out for a corner. Obviously, Mount to take. See what we can do from this one. Ball comes in. Harry Kane was almost there again, but no luck. Reese James, for some reason, on the left-hand side of the pitch, but he's beaten Kante to it. Managed to hold on to the ball. And then Foden has a shot, but blocked and into the hands of Minan. Minan? Minan. Ball over the top. Didn't quite make it. Looks like we're having the better... Uh... Oh, here we go. Saka's nicked it off of him. Shouldn't have had a shot there. That was pretty selfish, to be honest. Chilways picked it up, though. Ball in. Varane clears again. Varane's going to be a struggle for us here to deal with, I think. What a defender. Declan Rice has received the yellow card. And I'm fairly confident that means that Declan Rice has to miss the next, next game. Ball into Kane. Hey, he's trying to call for a pen there. I think he went down. Obviously not, though. Carl Walker on a seven. That's a nice... nice uh, Nice bit of play from him, which is good. He's obviously telling me, he's basically saying, don't be talking about putting Reese in my position, fella. Shot from Mount. Nothing come off of that, though. I mean, considering that France are definitely the... See, what's that all about? I was literally, I've jinxed myself now. I was just about to say, seeing as France are the stronger team on paper, they've not had too many opportunities and all the highlights have been going our way, but... There they were. Bellingham, for some reason, knocked the ball forward and just didn't do much with it after that. Ball through to Benzema. Griezmann's definitely offside. Thank you. Oh, Benzema was offside. Didn't even get a chance for it to go to Griezmann. But we've been playing well here. Five shots, one on target. I'd really like us to make more of a, more of the opportunity that we've got when we're getting five shots and only one on target. A bit like France, they're getting two for two. Pavard plays it through to Kante, to Kunde. Holding up the ball nicely there. Moran, big ball over the top, can't that? Can't say, what a through ball that was. You can't even be mad about it. Good job that that was a terrible shot and Ramsdale was there to pick up the pieces. What's going on there? Is that saying that? Have a look. Yeah, all right. Foden's knackered. Where he was. Injuries affecting him, but he wants to stay on. Have to replace both wingers here, are we? Oh, all right. No worries. Well, let's look at what we want to do then. Um, bring Sterling on the right-hand side as the inverted winger on attack. And then... Yeah, I'm going to bring my boy on. Marcus Rashford. Come on. Prove me right for having some, uh, some Man United bias here. There's tactics... Changes actually save. Pick the button on my mouse by accident. All right. Pump the fist. Time for everyone to dig in. Let's go and get them in the second half. Did my substitutions happen? Yeah, they did. All right. Cool. Sterling nicks it off Thomas Lamar. Ball out to Walker. Should maybe look to bring him off as a protection situation. Oof. We just not very good at actually passing the ball to our players' feet at the minute. Bellingham ball over the top. Rashford can't quite beat Pavard to it. Back to Stones all over again for Rashford. Let your pace go, Rashi. Gets the ball in. Mount terrible shot off his left foot. Really should have done better there, Mason Mount. Kane's now on a yellow card as well. I mean, making two subs at half time probably not the most ideal situation, but with you know. Foden blowing and uh, and Saka hurting. That to be done. Griezmann there gets a shot, gets a header off, but Ramsdale manages to save it. 
we're still looking okay. We seem to be holding them off well, but by the looks of things, if we don't change something, they're definitely going to take advantage of one of these opportunities that they've got. Ball in from Matt. Declan Rice is going to pick it up. I was thinking, phew, going to be troublesome if Griezmann manages to get to that ball. Reese James then. Ball playing defender. I like that. I do like that in the new match engine. They play pretty high up the field. And Ramsdale is a sweeper keeper near enough on the halfway line there. Crazy. Chilwell, lovely on the overlap. Ball in. Mounts there again, but no luck. Magnum just picks up the ball out of the air. None of us even got close to it. Still us for the highlight. Kane through to Mount. Mount's through. He's only gone and scored. Mason Mount proving me wrong. All those left-footed shots that were going wayward. Nothing to worry about. Absolutely buries it. That's great. Bellingham back to Chilwell, to Kane. Deep line forward roll. Just slots it through from Mount. Gips past the defender. Pops it over the left shoulder of Magnum and straight into the net. Lovely job. Well done, lads. Well done. Croatia also winning. It's going to haunt us, I'm sure. You know, Euros, World Cup. Terrifying. Walker up the wing. Sterling through to Kane. All across. Rashford's in. Oh, the Man United bias is absolutely justified. Marcus Rashford off of the left wing, playing his inside forward. Slots the ball. Might even have been through the goalkeeper's legs there. Let's have a look. Kane holding up the ball, lovely, dragging the defenders out. Sweaty goal, but it's in. Great goal, not quite a nutmeg, but we'll take it. 2 0, lovely job. And I reckon, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Maybe we make that defensive change now. This is a scary situation. Everyone and their wife's booked. But we will. We've only got one sub remaining. Oh, Chilwell's knackered, Walker's knackered. Hmm, what are we going to do here? Sending off ruins it for us, obviously, but I think I think we have a little look at Trent. Let's get Walker off. On a yellow card since early doors. Bound to obviously pick up a second yellow and he's tired. So let's make that change. Not so good defensively, but hopefully we can cover his defensive potential errors and we'll use him in the attack. Just like this. Ball out to the right. Go on. Yeah, that's it. Go on then, Trent. Not as pacey as we would have liked there, to be honest, but the ball comes in. Didn't quite make it to Kane. Bellingham. Rice back out to Alexander-Arnold. Ball across the middle. Bellingham was there. Big old header, but straight over the bar. Yes, it's definitely removed the instruction to get stuck in. That's why everybody's getting carded all the time. I need to take that get stuck in off. Oh, no. Rabio with the header. 2-1. Twitchy bum time now. Come on, gents. We can hold this out. I don't want to shout at the lads. There's no point in me encouraging the lads. They're just going to take it badly. They won't understand why I'm trying to encourage them. That is one thing that I would like an improvement on a little bit with football managers, how the shouts are taken. Bellingham. <laughs> Straight off. I think that was off of Rabio's face, wasn't it? Sterling was never going to win the header there against Kimpembe, but it's gone out for a corner. Come on. Let's make it 3-1. Settle the nerves a little bit. We're in a good position here. We just need to hold them out. Straight into the hands of the keeper. All right. Three minutes to go, lads. Another Trent corner. In it comes. No fast corners today. Back out to Trent. Across to Rashford. Oh, Rashford, that was a terrible touch. Gives Rabiot the ball. And they are on the break. Vicky's got to be about four days offside, I think. Safely back to Ramsdale. Hoof the ball forward. Sterling on the wing. Headed to nobody though. Would have preferred you to take a little touch there and knock it down. But this is one thing with the match engine this year that's really good actually. It's You see, you know, it's not just immediately ball over here. Glued to the foot and in. Rashford trying to sneak it past the near post of Marvin there. Out to Sterling. Block? No. Terrible shot. 
All right. One and a half minutes ago. But yeah, as I was saying before, it's not just immediately glued to the player. There is, you know, miss hits, miss touches, you know, not quite quick enough to pick up the play. Mount was almost there, but Kimpembe beats him to the ball. It is just a much more enjoyable match engine this year. I find myself getting more and more invested in the games. And, and I, to be honest, I haven't played as much as I would have liked already of the beta, but you know, I've played enough now where I'm starting to notice the changes in the match engine and I'm I'm definitely all for it. All out to the middle of the park with Rice, Kane, Sterling. As a crack. Oh, that was a good old save. Fair play. That nearly snuck just inside the right hand post there. We've managed to drag ourselves up into second in this friendly tournament that we're in, which is nice. Trent just wasting time. Love to see it. And that is full time. 2 1. We love a 2 1. Can't keep a, a clean sheet to save our lives, but we love a 2 1. Much better game from Reese James at centre back, which is nice, although. I think that I think he was one of the players who was on a card already, so we probably won't even have him for the next game, which is a bit of a concern. Ramsdale still playing well. Rice, Bellingham and Mount in that midfield. They are just outstanding at the minute. Can't fault them. And Rashford comes on, earning his spot on the left there. Lovely job with a 7.4 and Kane 8.1. And to be fair, even though they were taking, you know, making the most of their chances more than us, definitely, definitely our game on XG. So... I'm pretty happy with that one. On to the next game against Iran. Alrighty, we are officially at the World Cup and ready to go for our first group stage game against Iran. Uh, so this is going to be the lineup. We are, Obviously, we have Ramsdale in goal. Chilwell at left back. Stones, James, Walker. Rice and Bellingham occupying the midfield. Then uh, out on the wing, Bowden, Mount, Saka. And Kane up top, um, all in very, very similar roles to what they were before. Just again, Mount, we're playing that uh, Gagan Press 4 2 3 1 formation. So Mount has pushed up into the cam roll, and then Bellingham swaps from box to box midfielder to central midfielder in attack, and, uh, and Rice occupies the box to box midfielder role. Um, very, 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 very excited to get involved. I think we're going to be having a great game here and I'm very confident of us pulling the first win of our group stage. Let's get stuck in. Everybody's happy with team selection, which is awesome stuff. Always handy when that's the case, isn't it? I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to know a name in the Iran team sheet, to be totally honest. Now, pump the fists with favourites. Let's go. Come on. Good start to the to the World Cup campaign. We can definitely, definitely secure a win here today. And we're off. God, it's exciting. I can't, I can't wait for the World Cup in real life. I'm going to be absolutely buzzing. Provided that England do all right. I mean, if England absolutely bottle it and we're out, you know, early doors or in the group stages or something like that, I'm going to be very upset. But provided that England have at least, you know, a half-decent campaign that's worth a watch, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be some fun. Bit annoying being in Australia, obviously. It's not ideal for football. Oh, here we go. Sadar, he's off. Mounts, Mounts stolen the ball back though. Sent him on to Foden. Foden pumping up the wing, puts the ball in. Harry Kane's in the middle. Good, good defensive work there. Can't say the name unfortunately, but great defensive work. Amir boots the ball out. Chilwell, nice header. Back to the safe hands of Ramsdale. Really impressive Ramsdale, actually. He's been a decent goalkeeper. He's played well in every game, which has been good. Um, I've not seen him have any blunders or anything as of yet. Kyle Walker. Love oh, I thought that was going to go out for a corner, but it's been it's been kept in. Camera angle's a bit difficult sometimes to see that, to be honest. Over to the right hand side. Doesn't have the pace there though, and then James sweeps things up. Scoops the ball back to Stones, who pushes it onto Foden. Chilwell steals the ball away from... Here we go, Mounts in. Oh, he's chipped over and Saka's absolutely robbed his goal. But it's 1-0 to England. Fantastic stuff, lads. What a great start to the game. Five minutes in, 1-0 up. Chilwell absolutely robbed the ball there, pumping away with the pace on the overlap. Mount comes through. He's chipped the keeper here. If Saka leaves that, Oh, I don't know, actually. But I feel like if Saka leaves that, that's a Mason Mount goal again. But Saka is the name on the team sheet. Five minutes in. 
Only seven minutes in here. We've got another another highlight. Mount puts the ball in. Edders just don't seem to be the one this year. Certainly not for me anyway. And I don't think I've necessarily got the shortest of players. So perhaps I need to work on the set piece creator a bit more and go a bit more in depth. But doesn't seem to really have happened for me. Oof. All sorts going on there. I think that was Rice that stole the ball and then Foden had a shot, I believe. Stones gets us off again after our free kick. Chilwell out to Foden. Back to Stones. It's nice to see the defenders run out of pitch. The ball playing defender really gets up there. Across. Oh, Mason Mount. Maybe he's destined not to score today. That was cheeky beyond the keeper. Just hit the post. Couldn't quite make it into the back of the net. It's been robbed by Mount and Saka had another crack again. Got, got, I mean, look, I've got to say, being totally honest, Mount's a great player. Certainly a football manager this year. Mason Mount is excellent. Nice ball, Declan Rice. It puts a shot in. Oh, who's it come off? Saka. Saka again. Obviously also good player this year. Going to be some fun if you're playing uh, Chelsea or Arsenal career modes this year. Amir tried to make made a good save off of the free kick. Declan Rice has a couple of attempts and the ball just comes back out to James. And I think Saka's stolen it again, hasn't he? I'm pretty sure Reese James had a shot and it come off Saka and went in. Look, he's always going to take it though. We're going to have a, a Saka hat-trick. Lovely, lovely free kick there from Reese Jones, just slightly over the bar. We are absolutely all over Iran. I'm hoping we're going to continue this kind of form all the way through the group stages and it won't even be a concern of us getting to the knockout rounds. You know, if we have a wobble in there somewhere, it's going to be scary. But at the moment, we're playing some real good football. Cannot fault the team at all. Medi to Sadar, good challenge there by Bellingham. Stones passes the ball out to Walker and wrap the wing again. Out to Saka, he's got pace as well. He's gone. Back to Walker, lovely ball. As if Kane never has a shot. I don't think I've seen Harry Kane have a single shot yet in any of these games. See, I don't understand this. The space between our defence and midfield is too big and we could be exposed. I see that in every game where you don't use a defensive midfielder this year. And I've been listening and then playing with defensive midfielder a lot, but like games like this, surely not. Straight at the keeper there from Bellingham, we could have had a better shot. But yeah, this can't be the case, can it? I'm, you know, I'm just going to ignore rather than worrying too much about it. Because even if we do get a little bit exposed between the midfield and the defence, that's what the defenders are there for, right? Harry Kane, ne again, doesn't have a shot. That deep line forward role must just say never shoot. Phil Foden. Phil Foden gets a goal at the back post. Slotted straight across the goal. Obviously, look, if there's, you know, when we're playing against teams that have got perhaps a little bit of a better goalkeeper, that would have been saved, for instance. But the last game against France, Magna would have definitely picked that one up. I, every time I ignore on that, we get a highlight. I'm not going to complain about it. Usually means that we're doing something right. Declan Rice. Oof, saved by Amir. See, so can't get there again. Just too much going on in this game. But good though. We're getting a nice good look at the match engine. With the England team, who are playing fantastically at the moment. Kane's in the box. Wouldn't have had a shot, mind you. He'd have, you know, the ball has come in. He'd edit it backwards. Bellingham sweeps it up. Kane's through. Can't quite make it there. Walker. Mount. Oh, Mason Mount does get his goal. Fabulous stuff. Two from Saka, one from Foden, and one from Mount. 34 minutes in. We're a good squad. We're a good squad. I've got a good feeling about this World Cup. I reckon we might go all the way, he says. Very early doors. Probably going to lose both of the next two group stage games now and I'll, I'll you know, regret saying that. Medi. These not can't even keep hold of the ball. I feel bad for her around here. We're making them look like kids. Declan Rice puts the ball in. 
to nobody. Odin's getting shown up there though. He's had the ball picked off him. Emir plays it long to Medi. Saka's there to steal it back. Bellingham puts Kane through. He's going to have a shot, is he? Oh, Harry Kane's had a shot and he scored. Fabulous. Even that looked like a pass though. What's this replay? That looks like he just sort of walks it under the goalkeeper. Yeah, Saka's straight in there. We are a good squad. Yeah, look. He looks like he just runs into the ball. He goes in. I'm, I'm calling it. Harry Kane's still not had a shot this game. Chilwell takes the throw to Mount. Big ball in there. Reese James. Having a good game. Again at centre-back. He's good at centre-back. Again, Chelsea career mode. James can play right, can play centre-back. Don't matter. Wouldn't be surprised if he can play on the wing and in midfield as well. But you could have a fun little save there or, you know, if you try and sign Reese James, I suppose, from Chelsea if you're not playing as them. Great player. Also Jude Bellingham. What player he's going to be. Oh, he already is, though, isn't he, really? Let's be honest. You yeah, know, feeling with things like... When, when people tend to play for Borussia Dortmund, it feels like they're a club where people go to develop, you know, your Harlands, etc. So when they're there, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, you know, they're going to be this, they're going to be that. But they already are, really. Top-tier players. Bellingham, Harland, both. Class. Just unfortunate that Harland's gone to City, to be honest with you. Makes the league... Very unfair. Very unfair. Keeper tips it over. We're playing outstanding football here. Lovely job. Look at that. That is crazy. They've not even they've got zero XG. They've had one shot all game. Not even a shot on target. Fabulous lads. Go out there. More of the same. Look at these look at these performances. Kane on a seven point five. Foden 8.4, Mount 8.9, Saka 8.4, Bellingham 7.9, Stones on a 7, James on a 7, Carl Walker's on a 9.3 at right back, and Aaron Ramsdale, who's done nothing all day, he's not even had a shot on his goal, he's done literally zero, but he's got a 7. Oh, here we go, oh, I thought he was going to have to do something then. Still nothing to do, but, Having a great game by all accounts. No, well, we're just going to, we've not done it yet for the England team. So you got, yeah, nice one, lads. Give them a bit of praise. Although, they're having a bit of, uh, a bit of movement here from Iran. A 5.54 XG. That is wild. I suppose we've got five goals. Makes sense. Few corners there, back to back. Couple corners must have been only the two. There's not really much for me to do here in this Iran game as the England manager. Just sort of sit back, put my hands up, let the boys do what they do best, which by all accounts is win. Now he had a crack there. Would have felt bad if that had been yeah. I was we were playing red ass as a kid, rough. I believe I will be playing. We'll probably rest up some players here, to be honest with you. We'll probably rest up some players. We'll let that play in the background, actually, for a second. Who do we want to bring on? Right. They've all had good games. Let's rest up Foden. We'll get Rashford on. We'll play him as the inside forward. I do like that role. Got, got five subs to make here, so... You know, we'll we'll give Harry Maguire a go. He won't get too many opportunities, so he can come on. For John Stones, we'll bring Shaw on for Chilwell because he's carded. We don't want him getting sent off. And then, you know what? Kane, great player, but he's not doing much today, is he? And we're well there. We don't need him. Let's give Ivan Tony his first cap. And yeah, we'll play him as a. Pressing forward. <clears throat> Still got one more sub to make should we need it for injuries or whatever. You know, we'll bring somebody off if they're tired a bit later. But 
not really necessary at the moment. We we're doing everything right. Nobody seems to be you know completely knackered. Um, you know, we well, I think it was a good idea to bring Chilwell off just to make sure he doesn't get fended off. Gives Luke Shaw an opportunity to get into the squad. Here we go, Saka. Out to Walker, back to Saka, back to Walker. God, these boys love a one-two. And skies it. You should probably stick to your nine point four of defending and giving out assist, Walker, rather than having a pop. Mount corner in. Bellingham was there, but not quite, not quite enough of a jump to be able to get his head on it. Back to Walker on the outside. Slots it across the front of goal. Tony was almost there. Luke Shaw steals it to Rashford. Saka. Never going to win a header there, is he? Maybe ever. Rashford with the header. Not quite like the one the other day against... Uh, who was that against, actually? Was that Sheriff? I think it was. Maybe not. Maybe it was against West Ham, actually. I think it might have been against West Ham. Great head at that. Oh, they might be in here. They've got it. Oh, thought they were going to have a chance. That was a good opportunity for them, but he's absolutely skied it. Ten minutes left. Maguire's had a kick of the ball as well. Everybody's been able to play. I was shocked myself when I picked him for the squad, to be honest. But he's here. He's here. Add it to Shaw. He loves getting stuck up there, doesn't he? Him and Rashford should have the real good connection here. They, you know, we should have had a few more opportunities. Taking a couple of bit, bit concerning. We've scored five goals. We, you know, we were all over him, just consistent highlight after highlight. We've taken a few players off, and now not much seems to be happening. Or well, we've certainly not scored any goals. Maybe Kane was, maybe Kane was the difference maker. Anyway. Don't want to miss that highlight, do we? But, you know, we've got a substitution to make. Declan Rice, he's on a yellow card. He's knackered. Let's bring him off. Who's going to come on? Let's have a little look at James Ward Prash, shall we? You can play box to box midfielder. Of course you can. Ward Prash going to come on. Ball to Maguire, to Shaw, to Rashford, the United connection. Slots it through, Ivan Tony. Oh, I thought that was going to be his first cap, first goal. All into Mount. Bellingham. Not quite able to beat him here there. But we're still playing lovely football. Kyle Walker's a bit tired. Got the game of his life. 9.8. So is Mount. Look, Mount's incredible. 9.2. Luke Shaw holding up, playing nicely. What are we going to make of this one? I cannot believe. I mean, I know, I know, England are one of the the top rated sides in the world nowadays. You know, we're not the top, but we're up there. But thirty three shots, seventeen shots on target, and an xG of six point five six. That is, that is just sheer dominance, isn't it? If you watched your team play like this, you would just love every second of the game. Bellingham, nice effort from quite a way out, but over the bar. Tony, oh, I'd love to see Ivan Tony get, get a goal there. Ivan Tony's a player I'd like to see United bring in in real life. I'm not sure if Brentford will let him have her. Let us have him, sorry, because he's top, top talent. Then we'd have to pay some serious money. Which, you know, maybe we shouldn't be doing for a 26-year-old Ivan Tony, but I think he would be a, a good striker for United. And a few other Premier League teams out there, actually. A few of the top teams would definitely. You know, Chelsea, for instance. Aubameyang is getting on a bit. Could be a good player for them to bring in. But I'd love to see him get his goal here today on his first cap. Ward Prowse, through to Tony, speak of the devil, loses the ball immediately, and that is full time. Officially won the first group stage game, and that XG is just complete and out of dominance. 
certainly not in FM twenty three. I've seen I've probably seen something relatively similar in FM twenty two across the time that I've played it, but certainly not in FM twenty three. That is one of the most vertical XG graphs I've been this year so far. What a result. Well, there we have it. Perfect start to my career as the England manager. Obviously, uh, three games played, three wins under the belt. Um, you know, we did a job that we needed to do against France, which was lovely to see. And then just pure dominance against Iran. True, true spectacle from a few of our players, which is great to see. Full of confidence going into the next two games of the group stages, which will be in the next episode where we will be taking on America and Wales. If you enjoyed that, please do drop a like on the video. And if you want to see some more, don't forget to subscribe.